guys, today I'm here to do reviews on two books called Is That a Dead Dog in Your Locker and Is That a Sick Cat in Your Backpack. So these books were written in the mid-2000s by Todd Strasser and I originally bought them at a um, school book fair and I remember being so over the moon about them. I thought they were hilarious and um, I read them countless times, literally countless. Um, so the first one, Is That a Dead Dog in Your Locker, um, is um, a book about two twin brothers, one who is extremely smart and the other who is extremely dumb. Um, and they find themselves without parents um, and then they have to somehow dog sit this really stinky dog, bring it to school, do all sorts of crazy things with this dog. Um, um, they make a break about a million school rules in the process and it's just a really fun read. The second one, Is That a Sick Cat in Your Backpack, is quite similar, um, but this time they discover that they actually are the owners of a cat. Um, and eventually it comes out that this cat is an alien and is trying to take over the world. Um, so they're both really fun reads, um, but the best part of them is just their hilarity. They're absolutely hilarious. Um, but they do subscribe a bit to the channel of bathroom humor, so if you don't like that, you probably won't like these books. Um, but yeah, so I'll just read you the introduction of Is That a Dead Dog in Your Locker? Because I think it's quite representative of the writing style of this book. An introduction beginning with a message from the author of this book. Dear reader, the words underpants and underwear will not appear in this book. Only bad writers with brains the size of cookie crumbs use those words. Great and wise authors never stoop to using bathroom humor, such as super stinky underpants, in all capitals, to make the reader laugh. The author of this book does not believe in using bathroom humor to get cheap laughs. Therefore, he will use the word undergarment, which can be found in the Bible and in the works of the greatest writer ever, William Shakespeare. Like Willie S., the author of this book would hawk up a green loogie or roll earwax into tiny little balls before using bathroom humor. Anyway, I would give these books um, a 3 out of 5 because they're super entertaining, really good reads if you have trouble getting into books because they're just easy reads, they're really hilarious, um, and they always make you laugh no matter what mood you're in. Um, so yeah, 3 out of 5 stars, totally solid reads. Go ahead and read them. Thanks.